Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in again. Um, well, it's um, been a few weeks and I decided to buy myself a few new servers for my home lab um, and for my uh, company. And I came across this uh, system, Lenovo System X3650M5. And it was pretty uh, cool in price. Um, okay, it's an 8 core, 2.1 gigahertz, so it's not the 16 or 12 cores. Um, but for my environment, it will be enough uh, for the 8 core. So, as you can see, it comes with standard 4 base. Well, actually, 8. There are, you can connect 8 drives if you want. You can expand it to. 16 but then you will need to buy a drive bay and even to 24 uh, if you buy the extension here you can uh, change that out and we'll show you in a minute so let me see the specs um, quickly on my laptop again they are it's an 8 core I know that much still so I will post the number, uh, model number in the uh, description, but for now it's a 8-core uh, E5-2620V4, this is the ver version 4. Um, I believe there will be soon, I don't know when, but there will be a um, M6 version also. If you want M6 version, there are with uh, the uh, version 5 uh, Xeon processors. The model 3250 is already in M6 models, so these will be uh, changed up by Lenovo soon. So, like I said, it was a 2.1 gigahertz um, CPU with uh, 21 to 33 megahertz uh, and 20 megabytes cache. Uh, it comes delivered with one time 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, as you can see, there. Are Two and hinge drives in place. I think you can have uh, three and a half also in here, and maybe in the back also if you um, buy some kind of riser. I will. I need to look it up, but I think that's possible. Um, and the controller is an M5210, and this one is a 750 watts power supply. So a lot of options uh, possible. Um, what I'm am planning is um, I ordered myself an Intel X520 10 gigabit cards, um, not from Lenovo, X, from Intel itself, and I want to try if it fits in here. It's a little bit cheaper than the Lenovo product uh, itself. Maybe it's not supported, but I'm gonna try it, uh, see what it is, see if it works. Okay, so um, a handy feature just for me, maybe for some others. You can see here the model number and the serial number on this side here, but they put in a cool slide out thingy where you can uh, put up your um, labels or stickers or something if you want some information on it. Uh, because we used to um, label it on the front and then cover the uh, ventilation holes. And of course, it prevents of good ventilation. So they come, they came up with um, this small thing, which is pretty good, hey, in my opinion. So um, that's the front. As you can see, you have uh, the power, some LED status. You have one USB drive, no VGA in the front. Sorry to say. It used to be used to have a VGA in the front, maybe other models, but this not this one. And you can go up to 16 with this, this model and 24 probably with the others. Now on the back. So I turned it around for you, and I have to say they are heavier than the old models. Um, maybe some different materials, but the other ones were less heavy. So, um, as you can see, one power supply, 
you can buy an optional one or buy the models with two power supplies uh, there are two slots available here to put in uh, PCIe on the bottom says it's PCIe 3 uh, 8, 4 and 1 compatible and the other one 16, 8, 4, 1 compatible both 25 watts so in the back you have of course your USB ports your VGA connector there isn't a management port but let me get you closer inside here so there is a management port separately but on the four network adapters the first one is also the IMM so less cables to run into your system or network so keep in mind the first one is EMM also uh, it's configurable and it's a configurable in the uh, BIOS okay um, and then I will show you inside here uh, for the risers now I have to say they used to have much more um, stable inside so they're probably now just in there and okay but okay it's, it's just to fill it up if you have a riser it will be fixed and, and not so loose and okay let's open her up first of all the handle is locked in transport so you will need a screwdriver now to unlock it as you can see there is a little screw here and as you can see the diagnostic um, information and memory layout and such is on the top of the uh, panel now and not on the inside so that's one difference and if we open her up still the same you slide it to the back and that's it okay let's go in the front let's see here um, two drive bays from four each four connected and ready to go two extra if needed and as you can see here there is a possibility to do uh, and screw this and replace this bay with two extra I think two extra yeah two extra uh, lots of cooling uh, yeah I the reason why I choose this model 3650 as a 2U unit it has full height support for uh, VGA adapters if you want to do VDI or something yeah, it's lots of room for uh, memory and storage um, let me show you the memory it's under here and this sucker can hold 24 memory slots 12 for each CPU so uh, if you put in 64 gigabytes of RAM memory DIMMs and you fill this up you get 1.5 terabytes of memory which is nice now you can change up the uh, CPU if needed um, like I said this is the 8 core which in my case will be enough uh, I hope if not I will buy another one second CPU in place here the RAID controller M5210 is here now as you can see it doesn't come up with a battery pack um, and the uh, FUD expansion feature is also not available so you have to buy it and put it in place here okay so um, then you have two places to put in a riser um, there are power connectors here and here it says for GPU power so if you put in a GPU card you have to connect the power here there is room for SSD cards so it probably comes up in here 
with this connection. Like I said here, there are two PCI Express parts available, E3, and the weird thing is, on the, f on the back it says 16, capable, and in here if you watch it closely, it only says 841. So I'm not sure if it's correct in the back or it's correct here. So that's probably a thing we have to look up. And of course the hypervisor key, USB key, you can put in here. It's your choice if you want the hypervisor USB key or use the SD cards. Uh, the SD cards would probably fit in nicer than the uh, USB, uh, probably faster. Um, but hey, if you put in a hypervisor VMware, it loads in the memory and that's it. Now the risers are mounted here and here. As you can see, you can have to remove this first to put in place the risers. If you want to put in a card, you lift this up, you can mount it here. Second riser. And that's it. So, um, that was the overview of this server. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. I'll try to answer it. Um, and if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. Um, and now I'm gonna uh, try and install the hypervisor, put it in my network. Um, oh, and also, yeah, if the riser comes in and the uh, X10, uh, 10 gigabytes adapter, the X50, 520, I will install it and see if it works in the hypervisors and is supported or not with the Lenovo uh, hardware. If you want a video about that, let me know. I will try to make a video installing it and testing it. Um, and if you want to see anything else, let me know. Thank you for watching.